Welcome guys uh, to the next part of our Mafia 3 playthrough. Um, can't wait to get back into this game and it's really getting exciting. So let's do that. I'm gonna kill Marcano and all the assholes in work for Bullshit. If that's all you're after, you'd grab an XM21, smear on some face paint, and they'd all be dead before dinner. And you sure as hell wouldn't need a tack up center and all this other shit you've asked me for. After I got back, Marcano offered me the holler, said it was time for Sammy to retire. I told him no. So you think what happened is your fault? Hard to see it otherwise. <laughs> what do you think Sal was going to do? Host a little party for Sammy? Maybe give him a gold watch and a plaque congratulating him on his retirement? We both know there's only one way out of the life. And you still haven't answered my question. I'm gonna take over the city, district by district. Balcano wanted me to run the hollow? Fuck him. By the time I'm done, I'll be running the whole goddamn city. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Assuming, of course, you're up Damn for something right. that's strenuous. Why the fuck wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you got shot in the face? I might have lost a step or two, but it'll come back to me. Always does. God, if that isn't the fucking truth. One other thing, probably not much of a surprise, but most of the cops in this town are in Sal's pocket. Yeah, gonna always assume that. Just being diligent. The cops see you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you, every time. There we go. Now I'm finally understanding the whole premise of the game and why we are so angry at the mob I guess we have our reasons um, can't wait to get back at them you sure you don't need a ride nah man I'm good I'll be at the motel come see me when you're ready um, all right And her semis. Um, where? Ah, I see. Left wine. Gotta do. I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Yeah. The pocket of this old white man used to come around here raising here. Take this with you. It's always brought me good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, you're gone, bro. But you're not. And you never will be. Let's get those guys. 
Let's get all of them. Use your combat knife to perform lethal takedowns on enemies. You can also select non-lethal takedowns in the options menu under game. I think lethal would be just fine. Stash house. When you're out in the field, any money can you collect will be stored in your wallet. If you're killed in action, you lose a sizable portion of the money in your wallet. So it's best to stash it, I see. Use the safe, okay. Okay. I see. we have here okay. so let's get out of here Okay, now we're driving to Donovan. Um. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. It's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Hmm. Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the find day. Out. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. Okay, let's see if we have a nicer car. Yeah, not really. Okay. So let's tear some. Patience. Oh, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. What? 
I didn't... I didn't... Did I? Ah, uh, I see. I'm sorry. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me Wait, they man. expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too packed. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him, and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle, and you sweat, and someone can take it all away yeah, they are. just like that. Okay. Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. <laughs> Informants work the criminal rackets around New Bordeaux. Find and interrogate them to learn about objecti objectives associated with rackets. Alright. To interrogate the ha Haitian informant, isolate him through combat or stalking, then approach him to start the interrogation sequence. Okay. okay. And we about to take him apart piece by fucking piece. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. Okay. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. Huh? What was that? Where'd he come from? We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to Come the on. voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, voodoo shop. Why don't we take that car? Holy shotgun time! Let him hit me now. <laughs> so let's get to the wool shop and uh, get the boss man. I really like it so far. The story is amazing. Ah, so close. Uh, okay, how... what was that again? Huh? Ah, I see. Boy, what you doing? I need to be careful around this one. Holy shit, what do we have here? Um, maybe I should leave him alone. Okay, voodoo is little, huh? Okay. So far, nothing to see. Okay, no, we don't want to get out. I think. That's the same? No. Almost. Garage. Upstairs. Okay. Not sure we can afford 
Let's take a look. Ah, uh, look at that. Pretty. So. Here we are. No. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. Exactly. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? She's got a point. Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. She likes it. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. Let's kill that dude. That's, that, that's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find it? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. Let's Who's get there. His wife? I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Will do. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. All right. Let's do this. Everything you see is for sale. I see. By recruiting Cassandra, you've gained access to her associate, the arms dealer. Uh, as you increase, as you increase earn for your underbosses, they will give you access to their associates and upgrades to their services. Okay. The basic arms dealer has a mobile weapons equipment store. You can view future upgrades for the arms dealer. Blah blah blah. blah. All right. Let's see what he has to offer. So. Show me what you got, Jackie. What the hell? Why are you driving around? So, firearms and weapons upgrade, shotgun and handgun, automatic rifle and special weapons, okay. Gator skin. I see. 
Ooh, I like that one. Ah, oh, they are quite expensive. Equip for free. Okay, we'll do that. Handguns equipped. Okay. Oh, very expensive stuff. That's our gun. <laughs> All right. Equip for free. Do that. What happened to your store? The government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the lot of Motherfuckers. What? No. Sorry. Really sorry. Don't die. Don't call the cops on me. You're fine. You're fine. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, there we have to go. Side for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. See the this is bow down to them fucking coon asses. And you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Mm -hmm. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to him? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. Mm -hmm. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Mm -hmm. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Will do. Hey, uh... I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Busting up records. Every record's vulnerable hurt their ability to make money to force the record boss to come deal with the damage you've done. Draw out Merle by damaging his prostitution record in the hollow. Okay, we'll do that. And we will do that in next episode, guys. Um, this is really heating up quickly. I really, really love it. Love the story. Can't wait to continue. See you guys next episode. Bye-bye. Uh, Have a nice day.